so what's up guys got Dave here I know you can't tell but I am wearing my new helmet I actually got the high-vis helmet that I was telling you guys about that I wanted before you go calling me a hypocrite I'll just go ahead and call it call it out myself because the helmet that I bought is a Schuberth C3 Pro which is a modular helmet and just a few videos ago I did my I released my video on uh, modular helmets and talking about how I wouldn't buy one because that would tempt me to uh, ride around with it open but I can assure you guys that I will not be riding around with it open and it will be very easy for you to tell if I am doing that because I have my camera set up with a chin mount so it will be looking at the sky and you won't be able to hear anything except wind noise if I have it open the only the only way that you could see the view that you're seeing right now is when when the helmet is shut so you will be able to tell without a doubt if I am messing up <laughs> if I am not keeping my word Here's the story, like behind my choosing this helmet. Even though it is a modular, and I just did make that video that I was bagging on modulars and saying how they tempt people to uh, ride around with them open. What prompted me to make the video was just the fact that I saw so many people riding around with these helmets open. So, I guess to correct myself, I shouldn't say don't buy one, I should just say ride around with the thing closed so that you have all the benefits of a full face helmet. But that was my choice because of the options that I had, I'll put it that way. There were three helmets that I really liked that were in the fluorescent yellow, the, the color that I wanted to get. This Schuberth C3 Pro was the top of the line of those three. It was the nicest, it had the most features, and it was the most expensive of those three. I talked to a couple of people up at the rock store who have this helmet, and they told me, they're like, if you buy it, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, it's really comfortable, it's really quiet. It's just a really good all season helmet which is what I'm looking for because I ride year round. I went on Revzilla's website and I was looking at the helmet. It was 850 something bucks. And that was about a month ago. And then I recently went on there because I was actually thinking about buying it now. They uh, just came out with the Schuberth C4. At the beginning of this year, they just released the C4. So now the C3 Pro, is on closeout for like 540 I think I paid like like 540 something bucks instead of like 850 contrary to what I was talking about in my modular helmet video this helmet is actually quieter than my non-modular Shoei 1200 feeling the difference between the two helmets, like how they ride, how they actually feel like on the road. This feels more like a high priced, super luxurious touring helmet is what this feels like. It's really quiet, super comfortable. It doesn't whistle when the visor is up. It feels like it flows more air through the vents, which will be nice come summertime. You know, there's just like so many things about it that I'm noticing. It's got the uh, the built-in sun visor, sunshade, whatever you want to call it, so I don't have to uh, I don't have to have sunglasses with me. I could just uh, flip that slider switch on the on the left side of the helmet, and it it flips that shaded lens down, and uh, it makes it nice. That's the way that I feel about these two helmets now 
is I totally feel like my Shoei 1200 is, that's like a race helmet or a track helmet. And this Schubert C3 Pro is a really luxurious touring helmet that is super quiet inside, super comfortable. It, it fits me really, really well. I like it a lot. So that is my review on this helmet and that is my news to you guys about my purchase that I recently made here. That was my, my Christmas present to myself. So that's it. You guys have a great day and I will talk to y'all later.